So, here we are in my kitchen. <laughs> it's so pretty. Um, so, the shelves are made of oak, uh, solid oak, wainy edged. Wainy edged, because I like it to look a bit like Wayne Rooney. He's such a handsome chap. I mean, people say that he looks like Shrek, but uh, I think he looks more, more like the prince. Just delightful. I'd like to eat him after breakfast, I really would, and lunch and dinner. Um, Wayne Egg Shells, Wayne Egg. Kettle, orange, very 60s. Um, I like that sort of utilitarian shape and feel. It's really heavy. I mean, when you put water in there, it could be empty, but you'd still think it's full, which is why I don't drink tea, I just drink alcohol. Uh, mainly red wine. Red, red wine. You make me feel so fine. Red, red wine, red, red wine, and water. So yeah, we've done a bit of work in the kitchen, uh, just the sort of basics. Um, what I find is if you've got a small, narrow kitchen, Take the wall shelves down, take the wall cupboards down, and just put shelves up instead. It's so practical, just such easy access from all areas. Access all areas. No opening, closing, closing, opening, no banging of doors at late at night. Wake up in the morning or looking in the drinks cabinet round here in the secret place. Where's that bloody whiskey? Bang, bang, bang. You're bound to get found out. <gasps> you know you will. So, um, Open shelves all day long and all evening long if <laughs> you're drinking, <gasps> which I uh, sometimes do. And uh, yeah, I'm ever so fond of my kitchen here, over here, I bring them down. And quite a few. We have these jars. So um, this is. What's that dish? What's that dish? This is. What's that one where you keep adding ladle, ladle, ladle? Wait till it's souped up and then another ladle and another ladle for about an hour and a half. It takes fucking ages. But what I say, do some fucking, and uh, and 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 then it'll be ready. I mean, obviously you don't get the the ladle full in the right time, but my God, it feels good, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Sex. Oh, it's so good. It really hits me right there. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, what's that knocking on my back door? Oh, you want some? Yes, I do. Boom, boom, boom. I think it's paella or something like that. I know it's not paella, but I'll say paella just so we can move on to the... Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Penne, yeah. Every decent house has penne. It's just, it just works. It just works. Now this one's interesting, quite ethnic, and uh, this is, um, I think it's called semolina. I know, I mean, again, I don't think that's the exact name, but I think it's derived from semolina, perhaps that's the Latin form. Um, and I don't know how to cook it, and I don't know how to eat it, and I don't believe it's mine, but I did put it in this jar. Um, the only thing I didn't do was put the sort of recipe thing on the side which told you how to cook it. And because I'm not sure of the name, I dare search in case I get lost. And I really do get lost when I'm searching for things, especially on the internet. Uh, unless it's Tinder, of course. And then it's quite easy because you just don't need to search. They're all there searching for you. Uh, there's no search about it. Uh, there's just create. Create and turn up. Um, so, yeah, Semolina. And then, of course, it's it's onto the herbs and spices, really. So, uh, ground white pepper. Now, a, a little hint I've been told is that when you're cooking vegetables, um, go with white pepper instead of instead of black pepper because 
it's quite, I mean, I personally don't like pepper at all, but should I choose, I would definitely go with white. It's just a bit softer. Uh, I've been caught out on many occasions choking on some black pepper, and it really does catch. <clears throat> and there's nothing worse than sat around with a group of people, and then suddenly the coughing fit starts. We've all done that. We've all been there before. It's just not nice. So white pepper. Of course, we have the salt. I don't go anywhere without my salt. And then I have these, which is just sort of for... Well, that one's empty, actually, so... Uh, but it just looks so pretty, doesn't it? You catch that in the light. It's a real 60s design, the flower and the spots, quite graphic. And those colours, they don't make them like this nowadays. Does that sit on the back? Hornsey. Hornsey, England, 1972, see? Yeah. This is old. This is really, really old. And there's four of them. And I think I got them at a car boot sale for a steal. So I was awfully pleased when I saw them because I knew they would work perfectly in my orange kitchen. That's pretty much it, really. Uh, I mean, obviously, my favourite cookery book. Choose. I'll, I'll show you one. It's got a bit of a story, this one. Where is it? Here she is. Yes, she bloody well is. Doesn't she look fantastic? Doesn't she look fantastic? Mary Berry. I mean, she's not aged. She's not aged a day. I don't have a television anymore, but I hear that she's now on television doing a grand old job. There she is, little Mary. Hello, Mary. You taught me how to cook. <laughs> yes, you did, you naughty, naughty lady. But she's got everything in here, I mean, absolutely everything. Got some chilled soups, I and mean, would you believe a cold soup? Who would have thought it? She's so modern. People think she's an old lady, but my God, they've got a thing to learn or do. Thai spice, I mean, she's ethnic. She's been all over the world. Look at the presentation on that. Uh, Julie, what's for supper this evening? <laughs> what's for supper this evening? This is for supper this evening. Savoury dips with crudettes. Of course. Two plates, nonetheless. Fish and shellfish. French roast chicken. Why French? Why not English? I do love the French though. Jerk chicken. How oh, sweet. Christmas roast goose. So this really brought me through my childhood. I used to flick through the pages and think, what the fuck does that mean? It's just such a lot of words uh, for, for pictures, really. So I never really took to cooking that much. I normally just found a man that would do it for me, which worked awfully well. Um, yeah, that's my kitchen. Me, Julie, chef extraordinaire and um, housewife. <laughs> and if you're on Tinder, I do spend a bit of time on there. Um, the name's Saucy. Lawsy Saucy. Now don't ask me how to spell that because I don't know. Very bad. Bloody bitch. Take me to bed, Mary. <laughs>